Here with, I call him Coach Gavin. <laughs> this guy he comes 30, 35, maybe 40 minutes early. I think he's actually skipping out of school sometimes to come <laughs> early for it. I'm okay with that, right? Yeah. Always comes over to my session. Great mentality. We call him Captain Gavin, leader here. I think he, he definitely earned this private session. So we're going to take him through and, and uh, put him through an outside back uh, yeah. position specific session. Trying to get him like Andy Robertson, huh? Yeah, I'm going to Paris in a few weeks. So this is just to get me fresh and do all these great drills to get me warmed up for Paris. Get you school and everyone, yeah. including Mbappe, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Yeah. And I think, like, I think Robertson's a good guy for you to pattern yourself after, right? Like, some of these guys that are really, really, like, great crossers, right? And, and actually, any left-footed outside back you have is a really good crosser, right? Like, if he's left-footed, right? In the Premier League, any guy you watch, right? So I, I don't think there's a good or bad guy. I mean, you look at some of these guys, like, uh, I don't know, Reese James still in Chelsea? Yeah. Yeah, you got Reese James, you got guys like this that are just amazing. Yeah. But he's playing on the right side. Yeah. But but uh, who's the guy they have on the left? Uh, on Chelsea? Chilwell. Yeah, it's Chilwell's the man, dude. Chilwell is very good at crossing, right? Like, I think that's underrated. But any player you have, you gotta be really good. And okay, if we get to Premier League, that's awesome. But if you play in the MLS, you still gotta be yeah. a really good crosser. I tell you, Left back is a really good position for Americans, though. Yeah. It's a really, uh -huh. really besides goalie, it's probably the best position, yeah. right? So they'd, they'd rather have a lefty, left back American than a. Yeah. Good, that's it. You're doing really well, man. You don't want it like I think you're doing almost perfect, man. You just want to make sure that you get your foot down, so when you got it, it's rolling on your foot, right? You don't want to. Some people try to like do this, and yeah, you want your foot ankle down, so you're guiding it and you pull it out like that. Go more. And then we're gonna use it. Good, that's the perfect one. Yeah, good, pull it, good, yes. Play it, good, yes, head up. Three, there you go. Again, tacky wing back, you find the next pass. What do you do with your ankle to make sure you hit it there? Yeah, I, I like to do this, to put my foot down like this, so the ball comes, yeah, and I can guide it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let me see what you want to do with your ankle. Yeah, like that. Dude. Now you're guiding on your laces. Then it's going to be smoother. Really good. Remember, I did this with a pro guy. So this is a pro, a pro, well, I did it with two pro guys. One guy in Japan, one guy that played for the Red Bulls. Yeah. Pull it. Good, yes. Good, yes. Head up. Good. Very good. I'm going to turn the lights off. And they may be on, they may be off. But I want you to do the move and do the pass, and then I want you to look up and look for the green. If they're on, you can play right away. If not, I want you to keep taking it in space. Robertson, right? Keep taking it. Yeah. Touch. Good. Yes. Play. Good. Head up. Head up. Take it. Take it. Take it with you. Good. Yes. There you go. Oh, that's a nice left foot. Using that left foot again, huh? <laughs> yeah. Play. Good. That's okay. Guide it. Good. Keep on the left. Good. There you go. Your passes are clinical when they're on the left. Guide it, good. Good. Keep dribbling, keep dribbling, take it up. Good. Yes, I like the way for it. There you go. And yeah, good. Yes. Play head up. Oh, I love it, dude. Good stuff. Hey, your teammate can move those goals. I have to figure out how to make them move. Yeah. Pull it. Guide it, good. Play. It. Good, yes. Oh, I love it, man. It's green when you hit it. That was good. Uh, my secret to this move uh, is one of two things, all right? One is go ahead and play it. I get side on, I reach in front so I can guide it out. That's one. So I, reach, I get side on and I reach in front of me like this. That's one. The second one is go ahead and play it. I go forward and I, I actually reach to the ball. So you play it here. I reach to it and I let my body do the spinning, right? So like I actually do this and then it hits my foot and I still rotate my foot, but it hits my foot and then I go out. So I'm just giving you the really hard way. I don't tell this to many people. I always tell them the side on way like this. But for me, it's easier if I'm here and you play it and I reach to the ball and then I can guide it out. You don't want to do an Anthony, I did that. Yeah, guide it, good. Good, head up, head up, head up. One touch, oh, I love the one touch. Good stuff. Yeah, 
Good, good talk. Yes, good. Yeah, play. Good. Head up, head up, head up. Good, good. Good. Oi. Thing one. All right, good job. Grab a bench. Grab a bench. Good stuff. And I want you to continue to work on that one by yourself, too. Right? All you need is a wall or a dad that's going to help. Or if you can figure out the dog that can pass the wall, that's really good. Right? So that spin trap, you can open up. And you can go watch more settlement. Or type it in YouTube. That's a really good one. We're going to do two things on this one. You're going to play me the ball. I'm going to pull it out. So I'm pulling it towards the line here. And then I want you to fake like you're going to cut it inside. And I want you to sweep it back like this. You can cut it, but you can sweep it. I don't usually teach you to sweep, but I think for outside backs, it's really good if I can go like this and sweep inside, right? Because everyone thinks maybe you've done a couple of spin traps and pulled it down the line. Everyone's like, oh man, he's going to play it down the line now, right? He's done it three times. But now it's like I receive it out like this. And I, I fake it and then I cut inside, right? And then you can, we'll play it off the rebounder and then we'll place it in the goal, okay? Sound good? Ready? Go. Check in. Good. Touch. Yes. Cut. Good. Yes. Good. Receive it. Placement. Good. Yes. There you go. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. Play. Good. Pull it out. Fake. Cut. Cut. Good. Perfect. Yes. Good. Head up. Touch. Yes. Oh, I like it, man. Good start. Good start. Very good. Check in, check in off the line, yes. check in, pull it out, good, play, good, yes, good, good, good. Hey, I'm on a big arms kick right now, okay? So now you can go here, yes, get your right arm up, right, when you fake that. It's because no one wants to get hit in the face and they think they're going to get hit in the face. Yeah, go, yeah. good, yes, pull it out, good, yeah. Yeah, good, that's a good cut. Good, adjust, good, yes, receive, okay. good, I love it, man. Good cut. There's two ways to do this cut. There's one where you can be like this. Yes, it can be a big shot like this. And there's another where you can get your arm up and you can sweep it across, right? So you have two different cuts. A lot of people like to sweep where you're like this and you sweep it across. But you can experiment with both. Yeah, where you can kind of sweep it in and, and, you know, that one can be a little bit smoother. I only teach the outside backs, really. Yeah. That first touch, when you play off the rebounder, that first touch, if you can see the green, put it on a diagonal angle, right? Does that make sense? So it should make some passes. Yeah. Think about the next touch. Good. Touch out. Cut. Good. Yes. Good sweep. Now look at the pass. Good touch. Good. Now that's a good touch. Oh, that was the one, man. Good stuff. That's one. That's one. Good. Check in. Check in. Check in. Four. Yes. Good. Cut it. Cut it. Yes. Good. Play. Good. Head up. Good. good touch. Yes. Oh, I like it. Smooth. All right, relax. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I check in like I'm checking off the line. I pull it out like this. I go over here. I cut inside. Now I dribble up here with my left and then I play, right? Yeah. So it's actually really hard. I just did that. I was like, this is not easy. Man. Go ahead up. Oh, I love it, man. The rocks are good, man. The goals can't move. Your teammates can't. Yeah, it's only good to breathe, man. Hey, you're doing really well. Get that arm up on the fake. That's the only thing I would change. Yeah? Yeah. Just pull it out. Arm up. Yeah, good. Good, yeah. Head up, head up. Good, yeah. Play. Good, yes. Oh, I love it, man. Good stuff. Way to go. Into the nose. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Touch. Yes. Cut. Yes. Cut. Yes. Good. Head up. Oy. Push off, you're gonna back leg. Yes. That's it, man. That's it. That's really good. That's good. Plant leg. I like yeah. that. It's not the foot, it's the leg, right? It's kind of the, the knee and the hamstring, yeah. right? That was really good. So, can we go? I don't, I don't actually do this a whole lot with my left foot. I can try it here. So, can we go? Can I push off and push and push? Yeah. Oh, I can kind of do it because I know how to do it with my brain. But I'm reaching on that back foot and pushing so the ball's not bouncing in here at all, right? And like I said, I didn't try to turn it with message. Go. Push, push, push. Oh, that was clean, man. Good stuff. Go ahead, go. Push. 
Good. Look really close. Is anything you see here? I mean, at the end, I think the ball the ball bounced a little bit. Yeah. The here, look at the, this one. They got a little close. Yeah. So the first two, this was a good first touch. So now when you step, yeah. it's in front of you, and then now it's underneath yeah. you, right? Like, which isn't bad. You 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 got away with it as you, and you sold yeah. it out. And it got a little bit away, and then maybe it starts bouncing. There's there's a little, very little bounce in yours. Right, let's look at this one. That's the one before that. It's easier to see on this one if you could see what I'm looking yeah. at. That was a good touch. Good touch. You should be kind of pushing off that yeah. back leg, mm -hmm. but it's good. You're doing well. Like more of like a. Yeah, more of a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. You actually have a really clean speed dribble, though. So the one thing I'm looking at, though, is, is here. Look at your eyes. They're down right. at the ball. Exactly, right? And and it's a it's a it's a fine line between being here. Yeah. If I put a line down, it would be right yeah. here and looking here, yeah. right? Because if I look here, I can see here and yeah. I can see here. But if I look here, I can only see here, yeah. right? So Messi is pretty good at that. It's like you, you mm -hmm. see the next player coming, yeah. but uh, you know, it, it's 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 something that if you train at a young age, I can see the eyes right there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, exactly. So it gets better, but I want you to be able to do the same thing. And I, I actually can't even do it if I look down at the ball, I don't think. But I want you to look out here oh, in yeah. front of the ball, right? And we'll yeah. be able to see your Yeah. Push, push. Oh, I love it, dude. Good. Oh, that was a perfect speed dribble, too, man. That was definitely enough. see the difference right there on your eyes. Man. That's one thing is like, hey, coach tells you something, can you really yeah. try to do it, right? You can see your vision now is really good. You're looking here mm -hmm. now, yeah. right? Push. And then you gotta get used to it. You, were, you did really well, man. That was a really clean speed dribble. So dribbling is beautiful because you can make mistakes, right? Like, and you can, you can recover from that, right? But if you hit a shot and you put your foot in the wrong spot or make a mistake, it's hard to recover. Shot is, you gotta look down because that's kind of, it's, it's concrete, but when you make a bad touch, well, sometimes Messi makes bad touches, no one, no one sees it, though. That's the thing. Because he recovers. He recovers, exactly. Go. Push, 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 push. Yes, good. So that one was good, but what do you think about that one? Mm, I thought it was good. I just kind of push off my side of the corner. 100%. You were exactly right. Like it. it was good, but you're probably not running fast enough because look at If you look there, you can see that it's you're kind of going slow and you're not going very far, and you're not pushing very far, right? So it's like you're probably going at seventy percent speed, but that was really clean. But then now it's okay to make mistakes, man. I'd rather you have you do, you do the one you did before and you made a mistake at the end and you push yourself almost hundred, then you go seventy here and you do it perfect, right? Yeah, push, push. Yeah, it's good, good. Oh, that was one, man. That was a good one. About speed dribbling is essentially what I what I at least in my mind because I I watch Messi train watch Messi dribble probably like seven eight hundred hours in slow motion like no joke like yeah. some I don't know some somewhere so many hours like trying to figure out what's the yeah. secret and here's a lot of them man but when, every time he took a touch he was always in the air a little bit because if you're not in the air you're essentially swinging your hip and it's a yeah. kick but if I'm in the air it becomes more of a jump through the ball right and you can use your knees so. That's one thing I think is really important that you are in the air a little bit and it's not getting stuck underneath you yeah. like that, right? Um, but but that's important. And it's it's almost important for you that you push a little bit too far. Because there are gonna be times when you're on the left that you're gonna have space to take a touch every two yeah. touches, right? Like or every two steps. You don't have to take a touch every step. But you know, maybe you try to take a touch every step, but you err going a little too far. If you have space, you err going too far and too fast. You know, and if you're tighter from the middle three players, you gotta make sure it's really tight. Out. This is red, this is blue, right? I'll give you a six to five color, maybe five to four, and you gotta kind of recognize and make the recognition with your eyes which one I'm trying to hit, right? Then you hit it, right? Go. And pull. Come on, come on. Red. Good. There you go. Heads up. Good stuff, man.
So I can either run full speed, I can stop it and pass like that, or I can use the outside. I can run full speed and play it like that, right, with the outside. So these are things that are different when you're running full speed and you're running out of the speed, right? And we're kind of running full speed. So the passes I would recommend are that pass to the outside, this clip pass where if I'm running full speed, I can clip it like that, that clip pass across my body, and maybe the string part can just kind of play smooth. Go. Good. Yeah, right. Yes, that was it, man. There you go, applying. I'm gonna shake the back to myself when I was a baby and just force my left foot. Back and back. <laughs> force myself to become a left footed. You look and feel so much better. I still, yeah. go. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Wait. Yes, it was soft, man. Great. So hey, key here is we're, we're pushing, we're landing on that, that time. Yeah. So do a couple where I really want you to do it. Speed your foot. You're not, you're not just, uh, you're not just like uh, just jumping and jumping. I'm actually pushing off on the knee. And I sometimes, and I hate, I hate when I do this, but I sometimes tell people to push off their plant foot. And it's, it, I don't think that's the case. If you push off your foot, you're going linear. But if you kind of explode off that knee and push yourself forward, right, then then you're pushing yourself forward. Good stuff. Try to keep your leg down so you don't want your leg to go. Um, you, you don't want your leg to go like up and you can get that ball. I just want to say this thigh muscle, if I can keep that facing down. So when I kick, keep that facing down. I don't want to go up like this because that means I'm, I'm using my hip and pulling up. But if this, like it's called your femur, I think, this bone, but if this, this thigh bone stays down, then you're going to, then I know that I just let my leg fall, right? Because I want to do like this, I want to fall and then push through it. And you can see like my, this bone is always staying down when I kick it, right? And that's really important. So you kept going. Yes, that's good, man. Your hip was low on that yeah. one. You're going to do that for So the right foot. Right foot facing. That yeah. Oh, you two, show me exactly where your toes are facing. Like they're like, facing like. Go point point with an object where. Like vertical. Yeah, exactly. Right. And where are you trying to shoot? Like there. Are you trying to shoot on the right side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then we got to turn our foot even more. But hey, so we're not going to get into angles so much. But if you roll it here, it's at a better angle yeah. for here because you see this V you were making. You want to make a V. You're making an L yeah. there, right? Like if you look at where the ball is rolling. You don't want to make an L towards the target. You want to make like like this a V, right? Yeah. You see that? Whereas this more an L. So just try to get like maybe if we're rolling it there, we go for the left side. Yeah. And if we want to hit the right side, we go more from this mm -hmm. side here. And uh, then you can because you're actually doing almost everything right uh, when if you're trying to hit the left side, your foot's got to turn a little bit more. Your hips have to turn uh, a little bit more. So I want your toes facing that corner yeah. of the yeah. goal. And this is the same thing. To be honest, that sim similar stuff I talked about with Chris. If you saw that video, it was, it was uh -huh. the same yeah, thing, right? That. Like um, that he just needed to yeah. turn his foot a little bit more and maybe even overturn it a little bit. 
but everything else, you know, you have really good technique, the arms coming, this arm too, I'm really big on arms lately. Yeah. It's coming straight out like this. Yeah, if you can, go up. Yeah, in front and then out, right? Yeah. If you can go in front and out, then you're just balancing your body a little bit. So it doesn't want to do, I don't want you to go just up like this, but if you watch a guy, he kicks like this. Yeah. Does, does that make sense? Yes. Oh, and hey, actually I just had, I had one of my best MLS snacks guys in last night. Like, but uh, he's a soccer guy, he's good now. He's a lean goal scorer. He was doing a similar thing to you, not crossing over, but he's, he's, uh, he was keeping his head down. See your head still down? Yeah, sure. Look, look at your head's down like that. Whereas when you hit it, your head's got to pick up. Yeah. Like here you can see like yeah, as I hit my head. Yeah, it's right there, my head picks up. So as I'm making contact, because your head's going to follow, your body's going to follow your head. So if your head's down like this, but if, but if, if, I, if I, I can only do this, right? I get punched over. But if I pick my head up, now my body can stay tight and smooth, right? You don't want to do like this. Like that. I've heard people call it talking about the C before. I'm not really sure what they're talking about, but uh, uh, what I do know is that you want your body to be able to run smooth. You don't want to be pent up by your head, because that's as far as I can go. I pick up my, uh, sorry, I pick up my head. My, body, my core can get tight and I can, everything can drive through. So try to do Yes, there you go, a little bit more power. A little bit farther than it's two acceleration steps. They want to The fashion knows everyone does this, right? So, it's not fun, but it's going to really make an improvement. Especially when it's just me and you too. You can really see your technique. So you're here, drop your body weight, get the arm up in the beginning of the step. Some people try to bring your arm up at the end. You get, you get the arm up in the beginning. My arm is going to out and then I get in the shoe. If you're not landing in front, if you're not landing in the shoe, then you're doing something wrong. Right? So I'm here, I drop my body weight, arm is in front, out, and I, and I land in the door. Okay? Go on. Good. Nice one. Nice and easy to read. Good, good arm movement, very good. Good. Try to step right next to the spot. Good. You can't keep the ankle down when you kick it. And I think this out. And you get under the spot. Good, there you go, there you go. Go ahead, run fast. Good. Go. Yeah. Wait, 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 now go. Good, that was the one, man. That was good power. Here, this is my secret, all right? I'm gonna hold your shirt. It's a true shirt, so I can do this. All right, and you're gonna lean forward. And then when I let you go, you just like, lean away from me. Lean forward, yeah, like that. And I let you go, then you're gonna drop in your body weight and you go towards it, all right? So I'm gonna hold, ready? Go. Oh, there you go, that was good power. Did you get used to dropping? Okay, so we're gonna run the angle, there you go. Ready? Go, 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 yeah. Like, oh, there you go. Good stuff, man. Good power. You're doing really well, man. Good. Go, lean, lean. Yeah. Right. Oh! Head down. Go really fast. Yeah. Good. Good stuff, man. This is like the first demo so I've done in a while. It's because my back was. 57 miles per hour. That was, that was a good finish. Yeah, the power wasn't there quite yet. Well, my left is like 65 at the max. I'll take that one. Just don't tell anyone it took six tries. <laughs> That was a good one. You get more than me, I gotta give you my car, man. <laughs> Deal? Deal. All right. Yeah, I just gotta keep my arm up by, like, I raise my left one. Yeah. And. Gotta remember though, because we yeah. have too much right foot. You gotta do raise that right arm. You kicked it, how do you hit that ball? I like hit it with the inside. Inside, right? In the game, if you're like, 
If you're receiving it, yes, you would receive it and run into it. Yeah. If you're standing still, you can't really push and run into it because you're not receiving it. So that's when it's like, what other surfaces could you use? Like here? Yeah, or like laces, right? Like or the outside where you push it out. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then you're not, when you kick it like this, you're leaning back. Look, I'm leaning back. But when I go like this, I can go into it. Right? Or at least I can get my body pushing and, and straight up. Yeah. You don't want to be like this and then be, because then I'm already starting off, right? Mm -hmm. Wrong. Sorry. Oh, oh, that one was good. Yeah, that was I got my head up and I didn't cross. Yeah. yeah. That was a good yeah. Yeah. It's just staying straight. You can watch this later. You can watch the video a little bit. That's what I always used to do, man. When I was in Europe, I'd put a camera behind me. Yeah. I would go kick balls for an hour and a half, and then my legs eventually got tired. But what, what can you... Your brain can't get tired. Yeah. You can't get tired, but it has a lot more energy than your legs sometimes. <laughs> so I'd go home and watch it. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Yeah. Oh, I crossed. Yeah. Open up your leg like this. Okay, just open up, keep it low. All right? Yeah, now do that with your right leg. Yeah, without turning your foot. So this foot, the toes face me. Keep your toes, your, yeah, there you go. Now do it. Now open up your foot and put it in the air. That's, can you hold it in the air? Is that really hard for you? It looks very hard. <laughs> now do it with the left. No, no, toes face me of the other foot. The toes of the other, there you go. Now open up. That, that feels a little bit easier. Yeah. Now do it with the right. Good. Yeah, see, you can't go as far. Yeah. So essentially, when you go to kick, you're turning the right. And I see this all the time, Gavin, like more than often than not. You're missing what we call a little external rotation in your hips. I don't know if this is a really good stretch for that or like this on the ground. I don't, I'm not very flexible, like, but if you go like this, right? Yeah. Like these stretches are really good. 91 miles per hour. 91, man. Hey, but uh, like it, it's this muscle yeah. here, right? You can go like this and work that muscle a little bit. Yeah. But so what I'm saying right now is you're hearing everything I'm saying and you're trying to apply it, but your body is missing a little bit yeah. with that foot. And I think it's because like you, your whole life you've probably done so much passing with your left foot that your body is really good at opening up. And you've done a lot with your right, but maybe not as much. You maybe yeah. don't have that ability to open it as much. It's, it's more common than not for your age, right? Especially with that left foot is that players just can't open up that right foot. So you're gonna have to really, you know, focus on uh, stretching that out a little bit. Yeah. Right? I don't think anyone else would actually like, I've never seen anyone else actually do this before and look at the body and say like, hey, what's wrong? But like when I have a guy that's as good as you are and as smart as you are, and then you know every other rep is still going towards the wall, sometimes I think maybe it's not his head or his brain or whatever, right? yeah. it's, it's maybe his body. And it's your body, right? And yeah. like, you can stretch it a little bit, like here. But we'll try this real quick. Give me your right leg, all right? Hey, I try to balance on that leg. If you need to put your hand on my shoulder, put your hand on my shoulder to balance, good. Now I want you to push in towards my, no, push like this, yeah, there you go. Good, push in, push in, push in. Yeah, good, hold and let go, relax. See if we can go a little bit farther, good. Now do the same thing where you push in, push in, good, push against, yeah, good, and relax, good. We'll do one more time here, I know you're, push in, push in, push in, push in, push in, yeah. Good, and re relax, good. One more time, push in, yeah, good. Yeah, and relax. Good, open up, yeah. All right, now try to open it up. No, no, right now. Yeah, it looks better. It yeah. looks a lot better. All right, now see if we can go. Can we kick it if we can turn and hit? All right? Uh, the turn was so much yeah. the angle. The angle was not good. Try to put it towards, uh, see those two mini goals over there? Yeah. Two black? Uh -huh. Put it, uh, or the board, right next to the mini goals. Right. Put it next to those and we'll say we're trying to hit the right, left side of the goal. Go ahead. Oh, dude, that was clean. Yeah. Turn the foot, man. It got back. Yeah. Now you just got to get it farther, push the ball farther out. Remember when I was throwing it through your legs? Yeah. Let it get farther away. Wait. Push it out. And wait, wait, wait. Now go. Yes. That, that one felt good, good, yeah. If you watch the video, too, your platform was turned, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Again. Yes. Oh, now we're coming. 
Yeah. Yeah. I can like feel my foot move too. Yeah. Like. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Every single one, your toes are facing now or facing forward. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That one felt good. Yeah. I think it is like a four or five mile, like just variance on the speed gun, mm -hmm. right? Something yeah. Than a, a, like professional baseball one. But the shots are really good and we're really far away. Go. Yep. Yeah. 59 miles per hour. Nine. 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 <laughs> How do you feel about setting the world record in here? That is awesome. That's so funny. <laughs> one miles per hour. Oh. That one felt good. It's not all about the height. Yeah. stretch a little bit and you can do this right or when you shoot for sure right yeah do a little stretching and like what essentially what I did is like how you could do that yourself is like maybe like I said you go down here you you, you kind of hold it and then yeah. you kind of push against your knee yeah push it this way against my knee hold, hold and then see if you can go a little farther yeah right? so you're just trying to get the the hit the the, the outer yeah like, you know it's called the parafoneus. You're trying to get that to be able to open up, right? And you want to work on your right leg. Sorry, I showed you your right leg. I showed you left leg. You want to do your right leg. Yeah. So your right leg over, right? Because mm -hmm. if you can get that to turn, then this is for me that that's and I have not great mobility, but you know, at least I've been playing soccer. I can open up. It's pretty easy yeah. for both feet to open and stand, right? Like, yeah, you want to get there where you can keep it low too. Some people yeah. go like this in front. You want to keep it right next to your leg and be able to keep it low, right? Like that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a big thing, man. And you did well with it, but. I uh, tore both ACLs, so I started to learn a little bit about my body, and it yeah. helped me as a, as a soccer coach and as a player, right? So I know if you don't have that, you're missing. And I check that with pros, too. I'm not going to lie. I check to see if they have yeah. full mobility there. All right. We're going to save the speed process, man, but we are going to do some free kicks. I don't think I've ever worked in 2012 on free kicks because I've, I have done 2011. You probably saw the video. The Teddy. Uh -huh. The Teddy guy. Yeah, that was one of the first 2011s I worked on. But they All right. It's my first time working on free kicks. Like oh, yeah. here, yeah. Ever? Or er, like here. Oh, here, yeah. Is that lower than the new one again? No. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. Now you're ready. I'm not yeah. sure you're ready. Right? Okay. Show me. Oh. oh. That's a pretty decent one for the first one. Yeah. Right? You have a wall right here. He's blocking the near post. What do you like to do? What are you thinking in your mind? I just like look and I try to like line up where the goalie is yeah. and then I aim where like the goalie like isn't. Okay. That's, that's very good. That's like, smart. Right? If the goalie is like there, he's going to be like in line with the end of the wall so I shoot there. Yeah. No, that's really smart. What I would say is like this wall is going to be covering the near side and, and right now I don't know if the goalie is out where they actually are. This wall is going to be covering Six the near miles per hour. Yeah. Yeah. But there are a lot of times you're going to guess and try to get uh -huh. it right? Yeah. And we've seen Messi, he doesn't do a whole lot to that. Side. He will sometimes. And at your age, what you just did is a good shot, right? And then when you get a little bit older, it's all about and then maybe you get it into the, over the wall. Yeah, right? yeah. The goalie's not there, and he's also he's blocked because he's like this. He's like, yeah, he can't right? see, yeah. He can't see, right? So I'm just going to do that. The goalie's like trying to move the wall. I like 
see where he's trying to move it, because oh, then that also helps. That's smart for me, yeah. Oh! That's a good one, man. Yeah. Right under the crossbar. Yeah. Maybe the most important, one of the most important things is going under the crossbar. Yeah. Because the goalie, yeah. no matter what, can't catch it. All he can do is punch it. Sometimes he'll touch it. Back every time. For me, it's five steps, right? So I'm here, I'll put my foot down, like, all right, so I use cut my foot to kind of line it up, because I know if I face here, I'm gonna go across my body. So I'll put it down, I'll take five steps back. That's, that's me, everyone yeah. does something different, right? I think those five steps back, this is my resting pose, right? I'll take a big deep breath yeah. in, and then on the exhale, that's when I go. And you probably heard me say this in a video before, that like snipers, what they do is they, they breathe in, and, they, and when they're, they exhale, and then they shoot, right? Yeah. They get all the breath out of them, like on that exhale. So you could be here, in, breathe out, and then go. Oh, that was decent. That was a good one. I'm gonna see if fire needs a lot for me. Shakira, here I come, man. <laughs> push off that plant leg, it will help too. Right? Yeah. And now instead of using the laces, that's what I did if you watch that one. That's how I hit them. I, I push off the side. But if you can just go through it and push off your plant leg like this. Yeah, right? it's just like, going to. Yeah, you get that bend. Yeah. Right? You just have to open up your foot. Um, sorry, your left foot when you kick it so you can get a little bit of bend. That's the next level though. Right now you're hitting good ones. We're talking about next level. Oh, it came off like here. Yeah, it came off the side. Yeah. What, what I say for free kicks is, I don't, I actually don't turn my plant foot much on free kicks. So if I was getting a power shot, I told you to turn your plant foot, right? Yeah. So it's going to be kind of hard because I'm going to tell you the opposite. Now, don't turn your plant foot. Just go here so I can go, and first of all, the ball's not moving, right? So yeah. it's not like a power shot. Second of all, I want to come around the ball too. If I turn my plant foot, I'm slicing like a power shot. I'm yeah. slicing through it. But if I want to come around it, now I'm here, I go around like that and I get the curve. Yeah. Right? That's what we're trying to do is get that curve. Because then it's just going to curve around the wall and the goalie's going to like have to make exactly. a decision. It curves around, but hey, when the ball curves, it does this. It hangs in the air and then it drops. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if you can get it over the wall and dropping fast. If you don't curve it, if you hit a laser, you have this small yeah. area to hit with the, the perfect kick. But if you can curve it, you can go here and it drops under, yeah. the, under the crossbar, right? Over the wall, under the crossbar. Oh. I'm not sure I'm about to work on three kicks in the 2012. <laughs> I'm not going to be honest with you. It's hard, but you're doing really well. You're yeah. the first 2012. That one felt good. <laughs> <laughs>
tough. And so what's really tough is that we did uh, power shots. And yeah. After that, we did whipping across your body. Yeah. Which is a hard thing to do because you're doing one thing where I'm opening up my hips, and then the next thing you're like, you're like, dude, you're telling me to open up my hips. Now not open up my hips. But that's the beautiful thing about yeah. soccer is like everything is, you know. Some people, the coach, are like, oh, never toe poke. I'm like, there's times to toe poke, yeah. right? Like, if you have to reach and, yeah. and you have to get it off quick, you toe poke it. So it's like, there's like nothing in hands. Like, okay, there are times, you, yeah. your hand, you know, like, <laughs> you know, well, as a goalie, but even sometimes, you know, um, in the box, you see Messi do it, I don't yeah. know, Maradona do it, like, uh -huh. stuff like that. Like, yeah, just know, like the like, VAR, you can't get away with yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. But there's no matter what, there's always a time that something can be right yeah. in, in soccer, and that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So sometimes you wait on them, but this is really good. You plant a little bit yeah. behind the ball, like that, right? You're not in front, yeah. but you're a little bit behind, right there. You just see what I'm saying? Now you yeah. come across your body. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, man, and those are good hits, right? Like where you're coming. At. That's kind of how I hit them, actually, too. If you watch <laughs> mine, like I, I swing across. I push a little bit more across my body. Oh, I think this was the banger. You see you coming across your yeah. body. Oh, that was one of them. We got one. Let's see if we can find the one that. Oh, the MLS oh, ball. The MLS ball. Yeah, your foot was turned, but it was still a good strike, man. You see how it had a lot of backspin? Yeah. It was good for the MLS ball, though, man. That's a heavy size five. Over the wall. MLS? When you play with the 13s, they use size fives? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a good one yeah. right there. Oh. We got the one. Oh, that was the one, man. That's a deep. That was a. See where your foot's facing? Yeah. Foot's facing towards the other side of the goal, and you're coming across yeah. it right there. And oh, I was like knuckling, man. That's all you want to do. Upper 90s, great, yeah. but if you can get it over the wall, yeah. right? Like even sometimes Beckham at the end of his career, you know David Beckham? Yeah. yeah. He would hit him all there at the end of his career. I, I actually watched him. There's a video called like. David Beckham, like 60 free kicks. Or oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, if you watch the end, in the beginning they were different. When he was on Manchester United, they were higher. At the end, he hit up so many. Like right there. Yeah, right in the bottom corner, right over the wall, barely over the wall. Yeah. Right here and in the bottom corner, man. And he scored a lot of goals. And realistically, he was the first Messi, right, to come yeah. back. So. Yeah, definitely. All right, I just want to show you that. I mean, I think, I think you have a lot of potential, man. And, and, and more than anything, the most important thing is, is your work ethic and, and your, your positive mentality. And that's, that makes you really coachable. I enjoyed this session. I can't yeah, so say I enjoy every individual session, right? Or even yeah. group session, right? Like, you know, because if the player isn't focused or the players aren't focused, it makes it harder for me to yeah. enjoy it. And that's not always the case. Uh, most of the time here, it is the case. Yeah. Very rarely it is, and there are a couple of times. But here, you were super focused, right? Yeah. Like, and that was awesome, man. And, uh, you know, I saw some amazing improvement man and everything and the speed dribbling and the first touch and the in the cuts man and the in the power shot and the free yeah. kicks was awesome too man so um yeah let's uh let's let's keep working man and yeah and, you know anything anything that uh any critique or feedback you have for me no nah. nothing man no nah. well, it's just great it. <laughs> like being able to train with you yeah it helps yeah, a, a lot be so um, I'm, we're, as I've told you before, you and I sat down in the room in a meeting, yeah. right? Like, I'm inspired by you and what you do for the group and what you've done for this program, yeah, right? Thank you. And you were here before the before that, true, even probably, right? Yeah. I don't know if we had the that logo was the official logo, right? Yeah. So I consider you an OG in here, mm -hmm. man. And, and uh, like I said, I'm very thankful for our, our and we feel blessed to be able to train you. Thank and, you. I remember when your mom and dad put in the application the first time because we had a lot of applications, but I said, I said, Lauren, look at this application, right? Like, look at what they put. And they're just like, he loves the game. Like, you know, he, he lives, breathes and dies. I'm like, all right. I said, Lauren, let's, let's, let's take a shot. Let's see, let's see you. Let's bring him in, right? Like, and they, you know, it was, that's what it was. It was honestly, you were, you know, you lived, you breathe the game and, and you, you have the heart, right, to back it up. So. Yeah. Um, it was it was a good good risk on our part I think and and you know Lauren did so much amazing stuff yeah. and and I'm just trying to pick up where she left off right and and help guide you to uh, yeah, maybe Paris who knows mm -hmm. we're well, gonna lose you but I've sent other players away I'm okay with it thanks Thank you. thanks yeah. for inspiring it's awesome being here yeah oh it's it's yeah. amazing so all right man.